once or twice they've played after the first league game of the campaign, but normally it's a kind of an introduction to the season for the uh, the Kules, Albert. Yes, and uh, Pirius, the last time they, they lost was back. Well, weird scene for the Football Club Barcelona fans, for sure, to see the players walking on the pitch of uh, the Estadio Olympic US Cumpanch. I was back to Barcelona in the midfield behind Frenkie de Jong, Pedri, B. Basuma and Gio Lo Celso back at Spurs after two years at Villarreal. Manor Solomon and Ivan playing in that number nine role. Should Kane, I was going to say, be injured or indeed maybe against Rafinha. It's a ball across, looking for Lewandowski, who puts Barcelona ahead. And a fine opening goal from Barcelona. Rafinha outpacing Davinson and Lewandowski doing what Lewandowski does best. Well, only two minutes and a half for Barcelona to break the deadlock. And uh, what a fine goal, Rafinha doing uh, what Xavi wants him to do, break to the space and then the assist. Magnificent for Robert Lewandowski. He's looking for a way back into the game. There's uh, Solomon down the line, but it's just his Perisic now in his familiar wing position, and he spent so much of his time. Prod the ball back, does well. Davinson Sanchez then found Porro. Marcelo slowly but surely beginning to feel a bit more like home, perhaps for a while. Man at the back, the visitors here, and there is the danger of that high line. But it's with Oriol Romeo, of course. But he's making the job so far. We've been talking about Oriol Romeo, former Girona player, Pedro Porro as well, of course. As that tackle, Pedro Porro lifts it into the air in the header down. Ter Stegen comfortably able to prevent Richarlison from getting on the foul, says the referee. And Barca can now bring it away. And there is a strategic foul, let's call it. And it was badly already. The racing onto it, Lewandowski just holding back. And he tried. The opposite as Real Madrid, Lucas. Lewandowski trying his luck from distance. Vicario with a very dramatic save to palm that one away. And Rafinha picks up the rebound. Tottenham back in numbers. And Reguilón brings the ball back. And then fouled by Rafinha. An insulating layer as uh, Lo Celso drives that in. And it, the Bars is registering in just a moment. It's an opportunity for Spurs. And they are level. And it's Oliver Skip with the goal. Barca opened up. Initially down the left by Reguilón. They have been pressing. They've had three corners, Tottenham, in the last few minutes. An unexpected source for the goal, but Oliver Skip with a nick. Any British viewers looking in who may be wondering about this stadium, or certainly viewers of a certain age, it is the stadium back in 1992. Player, every co-star, as uh, that effort was a stunning bit of vision, good save by Vicario. Good reaction there by Vicario, was brave coming uh, off the post. To get hold of that one, Perisic will put it back in. Expect a new team in the second half. That's fantastic play from Moralco, it's a challenge from Davinson Sanchez and really well run, because he was outpaced yet again, outpaced for the goal, Davinson Sanchez. On that occasion, though, Moralco... Who is it? Spurs throw in, they now have a free kick as Mano Solomon is going to fall to Solomon. Appeals for handball, nothing doing, and then the shot from Solomon goes wide. Even in the pre season, friendly, the Spurs <laughs> She's taking it very seriously indeed, but just back to Araujo quickly. Maybe still looking to convince Poster Coglu, I'm not sure. A little performance in this encounter will be enough as Eve Basuma is felled in the middle. Foul there by Robert Le Spurs have four in the area now, and it's into the centre, and there is the second goal, and it's Oliver Skip yet again. Doesn't really muster a smile, but that's a fine finish. He's been all over the midfield in the last few minutes, Oliver Skip, and he's now got a second goal for himself and a second goal for Tottenham. A brace for a skip, but let me talk about Perisic. He put a perfect ball into the box. Chelsea all the way across and it's cleared away by back. Not stopping it, Eddie Garcia on the ground, Eva Basuma can... Catalan club nowadays. Here is Reguilón offside, but very strict financial rules in uh, La Liga. Iandowski, Pedro Porro over 
with the Polish international. It was uh, looked like he had a certain header in. Yeah. And there is the half-time whistle here. The end of the opening 45 minutes of the uh, Trofeo Gampa. Is to get us back underway here. And it will be interesting, Albert, to know exactly what Xavi Hernandez has said to his players. Passes pass and game kicking in as Oriol Romero pops one up and over the top, and it's Rafinha who just can't control the linesman's flag, though raised. So the former Leeds United man also looked to find a way through. Davinson Sanchez oh, holding off his man, but holding off his man illegally there, flailing arms. Rafinha goes down, clutching his face. Rafinha laying it on to Perisic, and now Reguilon will pull it back. The getaway on this moment, Oliver Skip pushed up wide on this right-hand side, and got to say, Skip saying he wanted the Baldi, however. Another time, same movement. There's a really good ball for Lewandowski, and just unable to reach Vicario out. Same movement from uh, Uriol Romeo, he looks... At Tottenham, he scored one goal in the Premier League last season. Costing almost £60 million pounds as a free kick is awarded to Spurs some 20, 25 years. He'll be afraid of. Hits it and it will be a corner. If it made its way through, I think it would have been easy for Ter Stegen, but... Catching the striker. Now Pedri on the turn and Pedri on the... First time effort. And that's a couple of times now that... Barca on Kunde pulling it back. It's going to drop for Pedro Polo, and it's a save by Ter Stegen to deny the Spaniard. Oliver Skip with a challenge now, and Lewandowski can't... Well, ...substituted, and... Uh, and a day before it, for Marcos Alonso down this near side, playing it across. It's a really good challenge from Davinson Sanchez to deny Ferran Torres. Now five bars of players for that's a good ball, and it is... Here is the treble winner last time out, looking to get a challenge in. It's Davinson Sanchez once more with a sliding tackle. I think I said early on that Davinson Sanchez may not have much wiggle room in terms of whether he stays or games. This is their fourth game of the season. Yeah. You have to go all or nothing comfortable with. And let's see if they are able to change it, prove himself with the 12 goals. Here's Barca into the area, an opportunity! Barca are level, and it's Ferran Torres! Set up by the very, very young substitute, Yamin Lamar. Ferran Torres, the beneficiary. Spurs opened up by the pace of the Barca substitute. And it is 2-2 here in the Gampert. Not anymore on the pitch. And Zansu Fati through the centre with an opportunity to win it. And he has done just that. And Fati off the bench. And Barcelona's substitutes have done the job for Xavi Hernandez and they've done it at the perfect time well Lucas if there is something and pulling up injured there now Barca with an opportunity for another one and they have it and it's easy Abde Regidon just stopped Barca move forward